In the previous episode I finished mounting the shelving and completed the assembly of the cabinet drawers. I'm Robert and in this episode we will continue working on the cabinet and fix the workbench to the wall. As mentioned in previous episodes I had the boards custom cut and because of this there were small deviations between the wanted and actual sizes. One such example are the cabinet side panels that were cut from the same piece as the workbench, but one of the pieces ended up being shorter. I fixed this 2mm difference by gluing a piece of plastic with a 2mm width to the bottom of the shorter panel. After this, I glued some pieces of felt to the bottom of each panel to prevent any scratches on the floor. With the drawers complete, I could now measure their entire width precisely as the rails had very small tolerances. This way, it was a lot easier for me to know the exact distance that I needed to have between the cabinet side panels. Having the exact width meant that fixing the cabinet side panels was simple, so I could start marking the drilling holes. With the position of the cabinet marked, I still needed to fix two support beams on each side of the workbench. This would ensure a sturdy work surface. I used the remaining pieces after the cabinet side panels were cut. First I drilled the holes in the beams and then I marked the drilling holes on the walls using the mounting screws. When all holes were drilled, I could start attaching the corner brackets for the cabinet the support beams for the workbench and then it was time to fix the cabinet side panels. A couple of screws later we reached the most difficult part of this project mounting the workbench in its final position. Due to its large size and considerable weight together with my girlfriend we barely managed to fix this board in place. Several minutes later it was done. The workbench started to take shape. All I had to do was to fix it in place using more corner brackets. I wanted to have an accessible electrical outlet where I could connect my devices. So after some online research and a trip to a nearby store, what remained was to cut a hole in the board and then attach the device. With the side panels fixed, it was time to mark the position of the rails. I started with the top drawer, as it was easier to measure the distance from the top and work my way down to the next drawer, using as a reference the first set of rails. When all rails were fixed, I did a test fit of the drawers and after confirming that everything was properly aligned, the last step to complete the cabinet was to attach a bottom shelf. This would serve both as a storage space and a support piece for the side panels. In order to fix this bottom shelf, I used some more corner brackets. As the space for fixing the screws was very limited, I had to use an angle adapter for my drill. This completes this episode, in the next one I will paint all wooden panels with a transparent wooden glaze and start working on the soundproofing of the room. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this episode please consider subscribing or giving a thumbs up. Till next time, take care.